80s, 90s, and now on My1053 WJLT. It is the My Morning Show with Bobby and Stacy. Good morning, everyone. Thanks for joining us this morning. We have uh, our resident advice columnist, <laughs> Stacy Godbold, in the house. Thanks. Ready to go. We, start, we started a new feature recently called Ask Stacy. So we want you to submit questions to her through our website at my1053wjlt.com. We've gotten several submissions. I did one last week. Um, we're we're doing it on video as well. So they're on our YouTube page. So if you miss it, then you can always go to there um, and kind of see the all the questions being answered. So why don't you uh, take a moment to read today's question okay. and then mm. give us your answer, Miss Stacy. All right. I was best friends with someone for a long time. We had a falling out. And ever since, she does nothing but badmouth me to anyone that will listen. Everything has always been about her, and she is the type to talk bad about everyone and then turn and in, and then when it benefits her, turn to them. I know I am better off without her toxic one-sided friendship, but I want to ask your advice on getting her to stop lying and talking bad about me. So Dang. it's not even necessarily about reconciling and becoming well, friends again. She's just like, look. I think that's a part of it, honestly. Okay. So, okay. so I'm going to just let you, I'm going to... We are all on the proverbial couch. Oh, my God. Waiting for your answer. You don't answer. even know how nervous this makes me. <laughs> okay. Um, okay. So you can't stop somebody from doing anything. I mean, if somebody's going to talk about you, then unfortunately it's going to happen. But here are some things that you can do for yourself, okay? Because we know we can't control others or what other people do. So um, the first thing, if you want to have a conversation with that, about your falling out, that may be the first place to start. Um it, you may have a resentment towards her because um, of the falling out. Um, it sounds kind of like it. So um, resentments are basically are only hurting you. It's not hurting that person. That person has no idea that you that you feel that way about them. So um, the first thing is to own your part. Everybody has a part in something. You know, if there is any situation, we have responsibility to own our part in, in kind of what we did in that situation. Maybe we did something to make that person react to us in a certain way. So that's really important for us to, to, to concentrate on. Um, her talking about you. Okay, this is terrible. It's no fun. It's awful. Okay. Somebody was recently talking about me and it makes it, it makes you feel awful. Okay. But here's what happens. When I'm guilty of talking about somebody, okay, I'm feeling insecure about something or um, it's m to make me feel better about the situation, okay? That's me because I'm guilty of that, right? Because everyone does this. So that's what she's doing, right? She's, she's, um, that's what, that's why we talk about other people. So just take care of you. Take care of you. Make your amends. Now, this is the kicker. Pray for her health, wealth, and happiness okay. that will heal your heart. And um, you'll heal any resentments that you have. Love yourself and move on. <sighs> Easier said than done, right? But that's... It's so hard. It's... I'm telling you, it is so hard to do all these things. When I have a resentment for somebody, I have to pray for their health, wealth, and happiness. And sometimes I do not mean it until like that second <laughs> week. I'm serious because resentments only hurt us. Right, right. And you can stop somebody for from talking about you, but you can take care of yourself. Good advice from... Uh from you, Stacy. And I'm trying. That's a tough one. It's hard. That's I practice some of these things and sometimes I don't even want to. I'm like, I like my resentment. You're looking Feels for, good. You're looking for like a layup question like, uh, what's, uh, what's the best thing to do on a Friday night? <laughs> it's a layup. No, it's all like, boom. How do I deal with my estranged mother and, you know. Yeah. So no, it, I mean, I like these things. I'm telling you, it gives me purpose and I truly, I truly am grateful for these questions. I appreciate it. If you have a question for Stacey, uh, feel free to ask many, many questions. Submit those anytime you like at my1053wjlt.com.